Hey babes, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, my name is JD Wady180. Today's tutorial is all about this green matte smoky eye. I was so excited when I got the new Safari palette from Natasha Denona that I really wanted to create something beautiful with this. So if you wanna know how to get this look for the fall time, go ahead and keep watching. Okay, babes, we are ready to start on the eyes. I have completed my full face. Let me know if you guys would like an updated contour tutorial because I will definitely film it. Just let me know down below if you guys are interested. So today's palette is really, really beautiful. We're gonna be digging into the Safari palette from Natasha Denona. She's one of my favorite makeup artists. She's amazing. And all of her palettes are gorgeous. They are pretty pricey, I will have to say. But for me as an artist, I feel like they are very worth it because the size is pretty large and the pigment payoff is incredible. So this is what the Safari palette looks like. It's fully matte. You got lots of neutral tones in here, but you still have an array of color. And I feel like you could do many different looks with this. But today we're gonna be sticking with those kind of army greens, this kind of section right here. And we'll dig in a little bit to the neutral tones as well. But this palette is so, so gorgeous. So for today, I am going to be using the No Filter Primer from Rihanna's Fenty Beauty. I've never used this before, so I'll let you guys know what I think on my Instagram story. So let's go ahead and dig straight into it. For today's brushes, I'm gonna be using all of the new ones from Morphe Beauty. I have a code and I'll put it in my description box down below, but I love these, they're super soft. I've used a couple of them already and I really, really like them. I just feel like all of Morphe's brushes are really, really good. So I'm happy to have a new set though because I cannot stand clean brushes, you guys. Like I have so many dirty brushes, so I'm horrible because I'll just open a new packet of them, which is so bad. So I need to get better at cleaning my brushes, but today I'm using some nudes. So I'm picking up just a fluffy blending brush and digging into the palette. We're gonna start off with this shade right here. This is called Aya or Aya. It's like a really nice ivory shade. So this is just going to set the primer and make sure that nothing moves and then we can blend everything on top of it super nice. Getting back into the palette and the same brush, because I love to use the same brush for a while, we're going to be picking up this tamarind, which is kind of like a muted, cool toned brown. We're just going to start to apply it into the crease. I'm so excited for fall, for Thanksgiving, to eat turkey. My dad is a big time chef, so all growing up, he always made the most amazing feast, would invite so many people over. And the last couple years, he's had a tradition to make pomegranate turkey, so everything is pomegranate, even the gravy, like everything. So I just can't wait to eat and be with family. I'm also super excited for Christmas decorations last night. It's like the first day of November and I've already been looking for all my Christmas decor. So super excited to decorate my place and get it all ready for Santa. Okay, digging into the palette again, we are gonna pick up this beautiful color called Savannah. It's like a really pretty matte green. This is gonna be like the main color of our eyes too. This, this whole look is super simple. I wanted something that was really simple and easy to do, but still looked very glam. And we're just gonna apply this all over our eyelid. And you're gonna to want to layer this. I'm gonna put at least two to three layers on each eye to make sure that it is super green and super smoky. Okay, once the majority of the eyeshadow is on, we can go ahead and we can dig in to the same green color Savannah with a little bit smaller pencil brush right here. And we're just going to add the same color to the bottom of our eyes. One thing I love about green tones is how much they make brown eyes pop. And I have like kind of hazel eyes, 
So they really make the green come out in the sunlight. Now I'm going to be going in and adding in green liner. This is Mr. Right Now in shade Wayne from The Bomb. like a really pretty emerald matte green. So I'm going to add a little hint of shimmer to the inner corners of my eyes, but instead of it being a bright color, I'm going to do something a little bit dark. This is from Flower Beauty. These are the Warrior Glitter Shadows. They're so pretty. And this shade is called Camo, which goes perfect with my theme. So with the wand, I'm just barely going to apply to the inner. And then I'm going to go in there with my little pencil brush and blend it out. Okay, our eyeshadow is complete. Super easy to do for any beginner or intermediate. Now it's time for the lashes, and these are gonna make the look even more glam. So first I'm gonna be using the Kush Mascara from Milk Makeup, just to coat them top and bottom. And I'm gonna top off my lash with the Double Up from Ardell. This has become a new favorite of mine because I really love super glam lashes, but sometimes I hate how thick the band is. So these are really comfortable because the band is clear. So they're doubled up, the wispies, so you get that volume, but you don't get that uncomfortableness with a really thick band. Freaking love these lashes. I love how lifted, like everything just goes high. My eyes look expensive, like the color of money. Okay, babes, our eyes are complete and we can move on to the highlighter and the blush and the lippies and finish off this look. Today's highlighter, actually, I need to apply a blush first. One second, let me go find one. Okay, this is pretty. I went and found this. This is the Sigma Blush Cheek Palette. Love the outside. And we, whoop, I like juggle. We have six different colors. I personally want to use this one right here. It's like a really pretty pink. Okay, I'm also gonna be applying freckles as promised because they are my new favorite thing. I just think they're so cute. They look adorable on anyone, any age. I just love them and naturally I wish that I had them, but I don't, so we get to draw them on. This is my favorite product for fake freckles. This is the MAC Shape and Shade Brow Tint in shade Lingering. It's like a nice taupey brown. You can also mix it, like if you want different colored freckles say you want some that are a little lighter and a little darker they have multiple different colors so i like to use the lighter shades and this is a liquid pen i actually use this on my brows too to create the feathering look but i love to use it for freckles it just creates a really nice muted tint because it's not super pigmented so they look a little bit more real so i'm just lightly applying them all across my nose where anywhere that the sun would naturally hit which would be right around this t-zone area and i'm scattering them in areas all over the place so they're not very uniform but they're just kind of all over so i have a girlfriend with freckles and she always sees me do this and she's like why are you doing that i wish i didn't have any freckles and i think it's so funny because we always wish we had something that we don't have so if you have freckles, embrace it because I think that they are gorgeous. And I'm over here drawing them on like I wish I had them. Okay, so after you apply them, what you wanna do to make sure that they look a little bit more natural is grab a puff or you can use your beauty blender. And then I just like to press over them so they don't look so raised or so pigmented. We want them to look a little bit more soft. 
Okay, now we can go ahead and we can add our highlighter. And I'm using a new one today that is so beautiful. First of all, I love the packaging. It has these falling little glitters on here. This is from Bobbi Brown. This is the Bare Glow Opal Glow Highlight Duo. And look how gorgeous these are inside. So I'm gonna be using this shade right here. It's a little bit more champagne-y, and this side is more pink. Super pretty. It's very soft, which I like. So if you're into highlighters that are not super, super bright, which I totally get, sometimes people don't like like a beam coming out of their face. I personally do. This one would be great for you because it's really subtle. So when you apply the highlight over the freckles, it makes them look even more real because they're underneath. Whereas if you were to apply the freckles on top, it just, it looks a little bit too fake. So definitely do the highlight after you do the freckles. And then they kind of just peek through and it gives that more natural effect. Okay, for today's lip, I'm going to be doing a nudie, and my lip liner is from Nude Allure in the shade Perfect. So I just like to line right there, and then I line just the cupid's bow. For my lippy, I'm using this one from Dosa Colors. This is Catching Feelings, and it's a matte lip. I like the shade because it's a really browny, warm tone nude. So it's a little bit more on that orangey side, and I'm totally fine with it because for the fall, I like more orangey toned colors. crazy how quick these dry down to a mat, but they still feel super comfortable. They don't feel like cracky. They still feel moisturized, which is nice. Okay, babes, we can take out any little hair pieces, shake out our weave, shake out our wig, and then I'm just going to finish off my face with one of my favorite setting sprays. This is from Japanesque. It's so amazing. I just love anything that has this type of spray because it's so soft and light on the skin. Quick like little puff. Press in that setting spray to the skin. And our look is complete. Okay, babes, this is the completed look. I hope you like how it turned out. I feel like it's super good for the fall time. All the matte tones going on and even the lips. So let me know what you think in the comment section down below. And let me know what you guys would like to see next from me. Don't forget to like this video if you did. And subscribe so you can be part of my 180 Glam fam. I love you guys so much. And I will see you in the next one. Bye, guys.